Did you click on this video because you were super intrigued by the thumbnail? Are you just dying to see what is inside of this Hello Kitty backpack? If you answered yes to any of the following questions, then congratulations, <laughs> you've come to the right place. If you're new here, please take a second to click subscribe and turn on post notifications, and I will grant you with good luck if you do that. Okay, ready? Ba boom you will have good luck for the rest of the week, I think. Let me know if that actually works. Anyways, hello everybody, what is up? It's me, Kayla, and welcome to my channel. As you guys could tell by the title, today we are going to be seeing what is in this Hello Kitty backpack of mine that I had when I was, I think like 10, 11, maybe even 12 years old. I think maybe 10 or 11 though. I'm not entirely sure. But I found this the other day when I was doing some spring cleaning. Actually, we're going to call it quarantine cleaning because I feel like most people have been kind of, you know, going through their old things, decluttering, reorganizing, throwing things away. Yes, I was doing that the other day with my mom and I found this backpack. I wasn't even going to look inside of it because when I first picked it up, I thought it was just full of like old books, but I was wrong. I peeked inside and yes, there are books in here, but there are lots and lots and lots of other things from my childhood. I didn't really look through everything because I wanted to do that with you guys today. I know you guys love videos where I go through old bags, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I don't know what to expect. Hopefully this won't be too awkward or embarrassing. Um, but yeah, just to clarify, I don't necessarily think there's school stuff in here. It just looked like a bunch of random stuff that I used to enjoy when I was younger. Again, I don't know. I didn't really look through this too deeply, but that is what we are going to be doing right now anyways. So I will no longer have to be in suspense. You'll no longer have to be in suspense. Let's just kill the suspense and get into it. I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this. This is, ow, that actually hurt. This is really, really heavy. I just slammed it down and my hand was underneath and I'm not kidding. Like, I feel like my thumb is bruised now. So I wouldn't be surprised if there are literal like painted rocks in here. This backpack has quite a few different compartments. I'm going to start off with the back zipper and we're going to see what is inside. Oh my gosh. Wait. Okay. This is actually so cool. I thought I threw these away or no, I thought my mom threw these away. I would never throw them away, but you know how like you have things from your childhood and then you're like, hmm, I wonder where this went. And then you ask your mom where it is and she's like, oh yeah, I threw that away. And you're like, are you kidding me? That had sentimental value. Anyway, so I thought that these were history, but apparently they are not. So allow me to explain what these are. All right, when I was around 10 years old, I used to collect these things right here. These are called squishies. You could get them in quarter machines at like different supermarkets. Um, and so these are actually the display cards that were inside of the gumball machines. I remember ordering these online and I felt so official. Like I thought I was the ultimate collector. So this is actually so cool. They're so dusty. Do you guys see the dust? I could like write my name in that. We have the Sea Mania ones. We have the color glow in the darks. We have the Barnyard Mania. Comment below if you guys remember these. Um, Oh my gosh, the Zoo Mania. I love the Zoo Mania. My favorite was always the little kangaroo and the teddy bear and the squirrel. I remember one time I brought a kangaroo squishy into Joanne Fabrics with me and me and my brother were like hiding it in the flower section of Joanne Fabrics. And then I forget who hid it, but somehow it got lost and me and my brother both cried for like three days because the kangaroo was lost. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh my gosh. This is ultra vintage. Look, the squishies actually changed colors. Oh my gosh, that elephant used to be like a really pretty blue. The pig used to be like a bubblegum pink and the cow used to be white, white as a cloud. And now they're like yellowish brown. This is just so crazy. Oh my gosh. Seriously, if you guys remember squishies, then comment below. But okay, so that was the first little surprise. Um, What in the world is this? Oh my gosh. So I don't know what possessed me to save these, but they are honey roasted peanuts that you get like on an airplane. So I guess I wanted to save it as like a little souvenir. It's actually super cool. So next up, it looks like I just have a whole bunch of squishies at the bottom of the bag. Um, yeah, they used to come in little capsules like this. So we have some open ones and some unopened ones. 
We also have a few like random fortune cookie papers. I think the more I look through this, the more I realize that this was mostly just a bag of like random junk that nobody knew what to do with. So we just stuck it in this backpack, but still pretty cool. We have this coconut lime verbena handy back from Bath and Body Works. I'm gonna see if it still smells good. Oh, it still smells really good actually. Ooh, I used to love these so much. Okay, so this is a wild citrus sunflower shimmer fizz body mousse from Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh. That, wow, that's so weird. This scent brings back so many memories. They literally crackle on your hands and they smell so good. Like they smell so strong and they leave your hands really shimmery. So it's weird. Like, do you ever hear a certain song or smell a certain scent and it just brings you back to like a certain time in your life? Yeah, that scent brings me back to like sixth and seventh grade. I am going to move on to the middle. So, okay, remember how I said in the beginning of the video that at first I thought this was just full of books? So we have this, oh my gosh, you could tell how old this is. Look, it's like ripping on the sides. Ew, there's like crap on it. Not actual crap, but like maybe chocolate cake or something because this is a cookbook. It is a very yummy cookbook. And as you can see, strawberry shortcake is on it. And oh my gosh, I remember looking through this cookbook all the time and oh, we used to make this recipe all the time. Look at this page. It's so ripped up and it has like, oh my gosh, it has literal cake batter on it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Well, this was very, very loved. All right, let's see what else is in here. What is this? Oh my gosh, this says Kayla Draw, my secret journal. I don't know if you guys could see that and it says no underlined. So I guess no one was allowed in here, but guess what? I'm going to break the rules and we're gonna see what I wrote. Hopefully this won't be too personal or embarrassing. So, okay, the first entry was from July 4th, 2010. This is vintage, my friends. So I put, today is the 4th of July. I went to Coons, I got two glow-in-the-dark squishies, a rare seal, and went to Jamie's house. So far, it's 4.11 p.m. Very prompt on the time there, okay? Um, later that day, I went to my grandma's house and we brought Kipper, my dog, then we set off fireworks in her backyard. Very, very nice. I don't really know how interesting these are all gonna be, but I guess I'll read, like, another one. This one's pretty long, pretty lengthy. There has to be something juicy in here. Otherwise, I don't know why I would have said keep out, but let's see. Um, this one was from July 6th and it says, today I had a dance lesson. I worked on Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here I go again. Later that day, I went shopping with my grandma. I went to Wendy's and the Goodwill to go junk hunting. <laughs> then later on, we went to the Olive Garden for lunch. Then we went to Coons and I got a rare crab. I miss those days. We're going to flip ahead. Oh, this one's juicy. <laughs> so this was on July 11th, 2010. And it says worst day ever, period, literally. I'm not going to elaborate any more on that one. If you guys get it, you guys get it. If you don't, that's okay. But wow. So I guess this was somewhat juicy. I mean, I didn't read through every page because there was actually not much written in here, but um, yeah, so that was a little sneak peek inside of my secret journal. What is this? Oh my gosh, I just realized what this was. This is so weird. Okay, so I remember in like fourth grade, me and my best friend, Jamie, we wanted to make like a little scrapbook. And I specifically remember using my mom's camera to take all of these pictures to go with these captions. And we never put the pictures in the book. I wish we would have, but these were the captions we came up with. You guys ready? It's probably gonna be really cringy. So just fair warning. Um, this one says, we are growing like weeds. Okay, we couldn't have come up with anything better. Like, you're the peanut butter to my jelly or something cute. No, we are growing like weeds. I probably came up with that caption, honestly. Wait, what is that illustration? Sometimes we are as still as a statue and read. We never, ever read, never. We both hated reading. We love to have fun together, fun. Yeah, lucky, yeah. We like to cool down with a cool treat. I so wish I would have put these pictures in here. This was just like 
the sloppy copy, I guess, as they would say in school. Um, although we have to admit, we do talk a lot. Oh my gosh, and then I literally made a box and it says chat, 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 chat. I remember when the teachers used to say, no chit chatting. Those were the days. Oh, and then there's a little note right here. Oh, I remember this. So I remember in the very back of the journal, me and my friend wrote little notes to each other, like personal notes to each other. So I'm gonna read mine out loud. I like Jamie as my friend because she gives me things. That's the first thing I say about why I like my friend. She gives me things. Okay, I'm sure it gets better. Makes me laugh, is kind, sweet, and caring. Okay, that's a little bit better. I should have said those things first before, because she gives me things. Jamie, if you're watching this, just trust me. I was never friends with you because you gave me things. I mean, it was like a perk, I guess, but yeah, that's a kid for you. My favorite memory with Jamie was when she and I went into my attic and we painted our nails and drank hot chocolate together. That was my favorite memory. My all-time favorite memory was when I asked her to be my friend and she smiled and said yes. And I knew when she smiled at me that we were going to be best friends forever. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Jamie and I are still friends. So that was really cute actually. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, we have this book. I used to love this. It's called, I Can Draw People. You know, I really and truly used to look at this when I was in like fourth and fifth grade, but it's probably for like five-year-olds. It's okay. I still enjoyed it. Oh, this is a classic. I used to love the movie Matilda. And you know what, actually, I still do love the movie Matilda. Of course, I knew the CD wouldn't be in there. I bet you, I bet you I know exactly why this was in here. I used to bring this backpack all the time when I would go over to like my friend's house for sleepovers. And that might be why that friendship journal was in here too, because maybe I took that stuff over to my friend's house when we were having a sleepover and I brought this movie for us to watch. This is starting to make sense. And that also explains the drawing book because we used to draw together too. So this backpack probably traveled with me quite a bit. What the heck? Oh my gosh okay this is actually so crazy i almost just got the chills i was not expecting this to be in here okay so as you can see just by looking at this um you're probably looking at it right now thinking oh my gosh what is wrong with that thing it's all rusty and muddy and gross that is because oh my gosh so me and my cousin heather used to have this little time capsule thing that we did and this was buried in my grandma's backyard for years and then I remember, I think we were like maybe 11 or 12, we dug it up and kept it. My grandma was doing yard work or something and so we had to dig it up. And that's why it looks like it does. But oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna open this up. This is so crazy. I don't even remember what was in here. Oh my gosh, it's so vintage, like literally vintage. This smells like a dusty curtain. <clears throat> mm. Oh my gosh, I'm not kidding. This is so insane. Of course, the first thing I do is like put my face in it, but okay, we have two little notes. Oh, this is so cute. So my cousin Heather wrote this to me and it says, Kayla is the best friend and cousin a person can ever have. I know by the time she reads this, she will be a teenager and having boy trouble. <laughs> I just wanna say that anyone who meets her will be crazy not to fall in love with her. She's the best friend a person could ever have. P.S. The earrings are mine. She underlined it. Oh my gosh. I remember, I totally remember why she said the earrings are hers. So I was always like really afraid to get my ears pierced and I always wanted it done so badly, but I would always like be totally obsessed with anybody who had their ears pierced. I would always be like, oh my gosh, does it hurt when you put them in? Oh my gosh, can you feel them in your ears right now? So I used to think my cousin Heather was like the coolest person ever because she had her ears pierced. And I guess she put a pair of earrings in here. I'm gonna see if they're still in here. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Oh my gosh, they are in here, look. That's the earring. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna read this one that I wrote to Heather. So it says, I love Heather so much because she sticks up for me and keeps me safe. Aw, she is my secret girl life. <laughs> Wait, what? I literally, oh my gosh. I put she is my secret girl life. <laughs> Me and Heather were tight, man. Oh my gosh. I really did think of her like a sister though. That's so funny though, like my wording. 
I have no idea what this is. Probably found it at my grandma's house. Oh, oh my gosh, it's one of those little bracelets that you get from like going to a fair or like a, a place with rides. This is probably from Conneaut Lake Park. We go there all the time. Um, oh my gosh, this is like, oh, that is so crazy. It's one of those little like gummy type bracelets. It said best friends, but it literally broke in half. Um, here's a bracelet, a penny, a random magnet. See, it sticks. I thought it was a bug at first. Um, a random, oh my gosh, that's so funny. This was from when my cousin had braces, I think. It's to like clean your braces. Oh my gosh. And then, okay, throwback. Oh my gosh, this was a shrinky dink. These are actually vintage. Like you guys probably don't even know what shrinky dinks are because they are so vintage. But yeah, and then there's like two bracelets in here. That is actually so cool. Anyways, then, um, okay, what? I swear, I must have been going somewhere, like to a friend's house or traveling or something when I last used this because why else would I have packed a juicy juice juice box, a chocolate chip granola bar, and ew, Smarties to go with it. That's actually disgusting. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. I just want to know where I was going. Like, that's so fun. But now we have one more um, pocket to go through, and I'm so excited to see what's in here. I need to enjoy this. Oh my gosh, what a throwback. Ew, there's a, a Kayla hair on it from like 2010. So this is the Wonderstruck Taylor Swift Lotion. I wonder if it still smells good. I used to be obsessed with this. Actually, that does still smell good. I love the scent of um, the OG Taylor Swift perfume and lotion. I would actually rebuy it. We have this Kool-Aid Strawberry Lip Smacker. Oh my gosh. Ew, look at it. It's like, it looks like I bit it. I probably did. Honestly, knowing me, I probably did bite it. Um, we have a bunch of silly bands in here. We have a pink, white, and purple nail polish. Oh my gosh, wait, I swear I remember getting these from my friend's birthday party. I think it was a sleepover party. That would make a lot of sense. Okay, and then we also have this rainbow Mickey Mouse bracelet. Oh, I used to be so obsessed with this. It's so pretty, like, it's gorgeous. And then we have a baby lips in here that I've used quite a bit of, and just some random squishies and squishy shells. But other than that, that was everything. That was actually so much fun to go through. And I'm so happy that I captured my reaction to everything on camera. I hope that you guys found this video enjoyable and interesting. If you did, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. But anyways, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.